It's great you could be with us again. I am joined by Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a food and wine sommelier of the year. The group includes down in Merrifield, you've got B-Side right next door, Red Apron, in Old Town Vermilion and Columbia Firehouse. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too, bud. Oh, what do we have on tap this week? So this week we have um, a very delicious IPA. It's I called, hope so. Yeah, it's called Misunderstood, and it's from Ocelot Brewing Company, one of our oh, favorites yeah. out in Sterling, Virginia. Um, this is a brewery that has produced well over 300 different IPAs since their inception almost five years ago. Wow. Which is crazy. Well, we've so. drank 300 IPAs I, right, on beer on the of the show, week. Right? Not quite, but. And, you know, they've definitely evolved uh -huh. some of their IPAs stylistically. They, they create hazy IPAs. They create West Coast styles. They'll make malt-driven IPAs as well. This is nice because it's juicy, it's creamy, it's got sweetness, but it also has some dry bitterness to it. Um, I wouldn't call it, you know, a, like a New England juicy haze bomb per se. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, uh, delicious beer. What does this ring in at? Did you it's just about 7%, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I don't find it like a real punch in the face. No, 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 it's crisp. Or hop -wise, it's, it's got it's some weird. crispness to it. It's really refreshing, and it's using re two really cool hops. Um, one is called Comet, which is uh, a hop that came out in the 70s in America. Lots of citrus and earthy notes. But then uh, in the alpha acids, which is what generates the bitterness there, um, where it was somewhat high, but not high enough um, to, to continue to be really utilized when a lot of the other new really high alpha acid hops came out, like Simcoe and things like that. So Comet kind of fell by the wayside. But it's come back because the, the citric quality and the grassy notes work really well for for hazier IPAs. And then the other is called Southern Tropic. And this is a, a new hop from South Africa um, that's got loads of like um, mango and pineapple, bubblegum qualities um, that really bring a delicious tropical fruit note to this beer. And they're content with their size. They're content with their output. They're not planning a mega facility right. that takes up and an you can entire taste that. office yeah, park. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and well, they're, yeah, they're, they're in an industrial park right now, in an office park right now, in a very small right, space. I mean the whole one. Yeah, they don't, they don't <laughs> intend to do that. Yeah. Okay. What's cool about Ocelot uh, is that they are a small local brewery that is determined to remain small. Um, so they really concentrate on the flavors of each and every batch of beer that comes out. They have no intentions of getting huge or spreading or getting the beer everywhere. And so to that end, they, serve, they, they, they sell kegs, fresh kegs, to the D.C. and Northern Virginia market and some to Southern Virginia as well, but not that much. And then they sell fresh cans out of the brewery. And they do the same with bottle releases and things like that. So if you live in this area, that's fine because Sterling is not too far away. You can go grab some cans, but otherwise you'll find them on draft um, throughout the region. That's important as you kind of survey the American craft beer landscape and you think about which breweries are doing uh, great things and which ones consistently do great things. I think uh, not to say that breweries who expand can't also continue oh, to do great yeah. things, of course, but when you find a brewery like Ocelot that's content with their size and just content with creating and crafting um, delicious new beers all the times in small batches, uh, what that means is that they're just honing in on their flavor profiles. You know what I mean? Like they're they're really, really um, working on what they've got. And uh, it, it speaks volumes to consistency, which is something that can be difficult for, for a lot of um, uh, small craft brewers. This is delicious. What mm. would you pair it with? So I had um, some cans of not this Ocelot beer, but another one recently that reminded me of this with um, some Vietnamese food. And I was like, this is an incredible combination. The, the slight bitterness, the crispness, the sweetness, a little bit of almost coconut flavor I get from the body in this. And then all that tropical fruit really lends itself to like uh, curries and uh, banh mi, classic sandwiches. And um, also like um, just standard Vietnamese spring rolls are amazing. Plus this is great with some mid-Atlantic food. I've enjoyed um, Ocelot IPAs with just, you know, standard crab cakes. Also, it's great with any kind of like shrimp salad, um, like a grilled shrimp salad, spinach, maybe some, some mango or other tropical fruit involved as well. Nice. Thank you, Ocelot. Keep it coming. <laughs> Greg, thank you as always. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.